This video will demonstrate how to create a DGN file with a specific contour display. Here I've created a brand new DGN file and now I will navigate to the reference dialog to reference in my terrain model. Now that the terrain model has been referenced, I will select the terrain model, navigate to my properties dialog, and set the override symbology from no to yes. This will give me the ability to control what I want to see and what I don't want to see on my terrain model. <clears throat> from here, I will override the template. So I'll navigate into the template override, come into my terrain folder, and select existing contours. What this will do is burn the element template into my active DGN file, giving me full control of the element template. From here, I will navigate to my element template dialog navigate into my DGN file, open the terrain folder, and select the existing contours element template that I've chosen as my override template. From here I will change the major and minor interval underneath the calculated feature setting to the desired elevation I would like to see on the terrain model. In this case I will go with 930 feet. From here I will close the element templates dialog and then I will turn off the minor contours display underneath my calculated features in my properties dialog. And as we can see the 930 foot contour has been displayed on the terrain model.